Hi guys, Andrew brushing the boards and stenciled up. How's everybody doing? We're gonna do a little DIY today. I'll wait for a few people to hop on. Say hi when you come on. Hi, Janetta. How are you doing? Hi, Jane. We're going to do a little DIY today. Hi, Catherine. This probably isn't going to take a whole heck of a lot. A heck of a long time. Hi, Ellen Wellen. Hi, Eunice. Roxanne, a little DIY today. Hi, Alicia. I changed my mind, Alicia. I'll tell you what I did after this live. <laughs> Hi, Teresa and Christine. Guys, I was going to do a Unique in the Creek board, which I'm still going to do. But I made my own sign to go in the middle. Hi, Brenda and Lori. And tell me me made it 12 inches, and it's way too big. So I got all my ribbon cut, everything ready, and my sign's too big. So now I'm doing this one. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kitty. <clears throat> and Tammy Pitts. So... We're going to do a little DIY. It's kind of like a picture frame DIY. Hi, Roxanne. So, hi, Mary. So, what I used is these canvases. I took it apart. Hi, Janice. You could probably get the frames at Dollar Tree, but I didn't look. So, I got four of these, and I took them apart like this. Hi, Christine and Kayla. Ooh, that's loud. And I took all this off of it, and then you have this, you have this frame that looks just like this, okay? That's what I did. Four of them, just like that. Pulled all this off. I don't want to keep doing it because it's so loud. Hi, Deanna. Thanks for sprinkling. Hi, Phyllis. Oh, it's not that loud. <laughs> Alicia, I'll tell you later. Ugh. So you pull all this off if you can't find them at Dollar Tree. You can get a four-pack of these at Michael's. So you pull all this off. And you got a frame. See that? You got a frame. Hi, Janice. So, see, you just got a plain frame, wooden frame. So, I got four of these, and I took off, took it off four of them. And what I did was I wanted to get a little bit of it done. Hi, Terry. I put, I painted four of them real light white, just a thin coat of white, okay? And then I wood glued them together, just like that. So, you put four just like that together, and I wood glued them together. Hi, Julie Rice and Terry. And I clamped them overnight. So this is what I have now, okay? This is pretty big. So this is what I'm working with now. What I'm going to do is, hot season, I'm going to Elmer's glue some spots and crackle it black. And then we're going to hang a wreath down the middle with some ribbon. It's going to be super cute, I hope. So that's the plan. So what I'm going to do now is get me some glue, Elmer's glue. Guys, I like Elmer's glue. I don't use crackle anymore. I love Elmer's glue. It does a better job. So I'm putting some Elmer, El, blah, Elmer's glue on my paper. And I'm going to swish it around on here wherever I want the crackle. I'm not going to put crackle everywhere. I'm just going to put it where I want it. So I'm going to turn it this way. You might be able to see a little better. Let me get this frame out of here. So I'm going to take my Elmer's glue, <clears throat> glue on my brush. See, I got a lot on there. And I'm just going to crackle where I want it crackled. Not going to do it everywhere. So I think I'm just going to do like the corners. But I'm doing heavy Elmer's glue because I want a lot of crackle on the corners. So I think I'm just going to crackle the corners on each frame. Just like that. And I'm going to keep going on all four frames. I see you. All four frames are going to get the corners crackled. Just like that with Elmer's glue, real easy. And I'm doing it thick because I want it. I want a lot of crackle. Let me do these other corners. You guys aren't used to watch me do a DIY, are you? I'm not used to doing a DIY either. It's 
hard for me to find the ones I like. A little more. So I'm just crackling all the corners, and the rest is gonna be black. And I'm using that winter's glue because this is the best stuff to crackle with. It really is. So all the corners. And it depends on how much crackle you want. You can do thin crackle, you could do a lot of crackle. If you want a lot of crackle, you gotta do a lot of glue. I'm not getting any comments. Are you guys talking? Oh, hi, Betsy. So if you want to crackle, you do a lot of glue. If you want not much crackle, do thin amount of glue. So I got all the corners done, okay? And while it's wet is when you're gonna paint it. Darn, I forgot to get my water, hold on. Shoot. That's right, I'll just dump it in there. So while it's wet is when you wanna put your top coat on. So my top coat's gonna be black. You can do it vice versa or whatever you want. So I'm gonna pour a bunch of black paint on my paper. Hi, Leah. And we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint the whole thing. I'm gonna do around the insides first. You're watching, good. So I'm gonna paint the insides. And guys, I don't want this to be perfect because I like rustic. Hi, Pat, thanks for the stars, Amber. I like rustic, so I don't want mine to be perfect. Perfectly painted. I like it not perfect, farmhousey. So if I don't hit some spots, it's perfectly fine because that's the way I like it. So I'm gonna get all my insides first. And then I'm gonna go around and get my outsides and then I'll get the tops. I might have should have took the sweater off, but I was not thinking. I didn't even change when I got home from work. I just been working. Yay, Vicky! You turn, it turned out good, that's awesome. Awesome. So all around the inside. And I would glue this these together. So you got if you would glue it, you have to let it set overnight and clamp it together so it'll be really tight. So that's what I did. And I don't want it perfect, so if I miss some spots, that's all right. So I got all the insides. See that? I'm going to go all the way around the outside now. So I want to do the top last. So I'm going to go all the way around the outside. How's everybody doing today on this Tuesday? I had to go to work today. I'm not seeing hardly any comments. Something's filtering or something. Ellen. Alicia, are you talking? Because I can't see nothing. No comments at all. It's like I'm talking to myself. I see the hearts and stuff you guys are throwing up, but I don't see any comments. That That's scary. I don't like that. Ellen Wellen. Hello. I see that one, Vicky. Okay. I got the sides. I got the insides. Now I'm going to do the top. It's been a wild Tuesday. Look at my hands. Maybe I better get a baby wipe first. Hold on. I had to work today, so I just got home a little while ago, and I've been working ever since. Let me get some of this paint off my hands. Now they're coming in. Hi, Jackie. I don't know why I'm not getting everybody's, but... All right. So now. My shirt says this is just a chapter, not... The whole story. This is just a chapter, not the whole story. I love this shirt. You did, Debbie? I'm hooked, too. I love crackling. So, I'm going to go around the top now. And remember, I got Elmer's glue on here, so... On the corners, so you'll see it crackling in a few minutes. Jana had the same problem. She did, Shannon? It's Facebook, then. So, see that? I'm not hitting everything. I don't. I want it rusty. Well, that's good. At least I know it's not just me. Hi, Jill. I saw, I see that, Alicia, but I didn't see any comments earlier. So, guys, this is on kind of thick. I'm going to have to dry this really good before we go any further. But you'll see it start crackling in a few minutes. Ooh, it's big. I can't turn it. I need more paint. This is a messy project, guys. Now they're not, now there's no commenting again. I don't like that because I feel like I'm sitting here talking to myself. 
Thanks for sprinkling, Brenda. One more. Remind all the orders. Guys, if you order from the 30th to like the 4th, remember, I won't be home. I'll be in Louisiana, so your order will be a little late because there's nobody going to be here doing my orders for me. So, I apologize, but that's about the only time I take off. Oh, you couldn't, Brenda? Hi, Lindy. Yes, that Facebook's doing something then because I don't see hardly any of my comments. All right, so see how that is? It's just messy, guys. Really, Rhonda, I see that one, but I haven't been seeing many today. When we join the lives and it says join broadcast. I don't know, Les. I've never seen that before. I guess it just means you're joining the live. I don't, I don't know what that means. I've never seen that. Hi, Kay. Guys, I got a mess. Okay, so I'm going to dry this so I can pick it up. I don't like you guys being filtered either. Because then I, got no, I feel like I'm by myself. Okay, I'm going to dry this big time. So we're going to be sitting here drying for a few minutes. I don't like anybody being filtered either. I hope this is cute. I've never done this before, so we will see. It doesn't, Lisa? Oh, great. Facebook must be updating or something. That's aggravating. Why don't they do that stuff overnight? You know what I mean? When people aren't trying to go live. I think they should do all that overnight. Like in the middle of the night. Okay, I want to get this really dry. Because I'm going to I'm gonna put a wreath and ribbon in the middle so I don't want it wet. So we're going to have to be drying for a few minutes. Oh, is that what that means, Carol? Okay, yeah. Guys, I know I'm on early tonight, but we haven't watched Survivor from last week. So, I thought I'll go a little early, because Kurt's going out of town again tomorrow, but Tyler's not leaving. And I thought, let's just, let me go a little early so we can watch our prop, watch our show tonight before he leaves tomorrow. So, that's why I went at 6. Oh, it's crackling. You guys see it? Are oh, you glad you never joined, Les? You'd have been a mess, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd have been like, what in the heck is going on? I'm on Angie's Live. <laughs> That's funny. I know what that is now that she said it, because I did it. I ding-donged uh, Justin one on a Friday night, and that's how I had to do it. We're getting there. I love the crackle. Wait till you see the crackle coming through. Guys, I could crackle everything in my house. If I could. I love old and crackle. Alright, the bottom part's pretty dry. Thank you, Kay, for the stars. So after me is going to be Crazy and Crafty Mama. It's Tumblr Tuesday. And then after her, it's going to be Scout. This is so cute, if it turns out. Hopefully it does. The frames I got from Michael's. I just, um, they're the, thank you, Amber, they're the, um, canvas. You pull the canvas off, and you, these, these wood frames are underneath. See that? You could probably get them at the dollar store, too. I didn't check. But I did four of these. So I pulled the canvas off four of them. It's going to be a farmhouse, big farmhouse picture frame, and it's going to have ribbon and a wreath hanging down the middle. So these are just four cheap wood frames. And I glued them together with wood glue, clamped them overnight, and then I painted them a light coat of white. Thank you, Kay. And that's what we got. Now I put my Elmer's glue on the top, and now I painted it black, so we're getting our crackle. So that's what we've done so far, if you just hopped it on. Hop it on. Now I'm trying to get it dry so I can handle it. I don't want to be picking it up with wet paint all over it. Thank you, Evie. And I put it on kind of thick. I like I like to put my paint on thick when I'm crackling. So I got to get it really dry so we can do the next step. 
Tomorrow night we're gonna paint, guys. I just didn't feel like painting tonight. And I didn't have nothing ready. Thanks for all the hearts and the thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Okay, let me spin it around. See how much is still wet. See all that crackle? I'll hold it up close to you in a second. I love the crackle. Thank you, Serena. Love the crackle. I think we got it pretty dry. I think we should, we can work on it now. All right, let's check it out. Let me hold it up and show you the crackle. It looks so neat. Ooh, I, I got my hands in some wet spots. See all that crackle? See how it made it look really old? I love that. So that's what it looks like close up. All that crackle, white coming through. Love it. So there's still a couple spots that are wet. So let me dry it a tiny bit more and then we'll keep going. Thanks, Kay. Let me dry it one more time and then we'll keep going. I don't want to get the wreath and ribbon I'm putting on it black. So I got to get it dry. So let me try one more time. It's just a couple spots. Guys, I love the hearts. That's engagement, so that's awesome that you guys hit that heart button. Okay, almost. Let me get the outside. This part's boring, I know. Thanks, Kay. So in the corners where I put my glue is where it's wet the most. Because I had thick glue and then I put thick black paint. So I got to dry these corners the best. I think we might be all right now. Okay. Thanks, Cindy Witt. All right. So what we're going to do next is, I know you can't see this very good on my black table. I apologize. So what we're going to do next is this wreath right here. I got it. Hobby Lobby. Thank you, Tony. So I got just this little wreath at Hobby Lobby when it's 50% uh, off. Hi, Judy. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it from the top with ribbon. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to use buffalo plaid ribbon. And this is inch and a half. I would have used two and a half, but I don't have any two and a half, so I had to use one and a half. Thanks for the stars, Debbie. So what I'm going to do is first is I'm going to cut me a long piece off. And I'm going to slip it through my wreath where I want it to go through. I just grabbed the worst part of the wreath, which is right here. And that's where I put, thank you, Debbie. That's where I put my ribbon through. So you want it like this. See that? That's how you want it. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have to stand up. And I'll put turn it sideways so you can see. So I'm gonna lay it on here and see where I want it to hang. So I want it to hang right in the middle of the window. See, I got paint on my ribbon. Let me flip that, turn it. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Hi, Debbie. So I flipped my ribbon so you can't see that paint. Now, I want it to hang like right in the middle of my frame. So I'm gonna pull this ribbon up and I'm gonna wrap it around the back and staple it is what I'm gonna do. So. Let me flip it over. And I'm gonna staple it right on the back. Right in the middle. And that's gonna hang my wreath. And then we're gonna make a big old bow to go on it. So let me get my staple gun. And this is how it's going to hang, guys. Just like, oh gosh, let me, let me raise you up a little. I'm not, I'm not far enough away from the camera. So that's how it's going to hang. And then I'm going to make a pretty bow and hang it down right here. But look how cute that's going to be hanging on the wall. So let's make a pretty bow to go on top. Let me put this out the way. Did you guys hear Kurt sneezing that loud all the way in the house? He's loud when he sneezes. It's ridiculous. It scares you when he's sitting right next to you. Oh my gosh, you about pee your pants. He is so loud. I think the people down the street can hear him. 
It's crazy. Ask Ellen. She's heard them before. Oh, the comments are not, not coming again. Okay, so I'm going to take my Easy Bow Maker. And I'm going to make... You heard him? Yeah, he's loud. I'm going to make a big bow with a bunch of loops on it. So that's what we're going to do next. I got to get all this off my hands. No, he didn't scream. That was sneezing. It's, it's like, if you're sitting next to him, I swear, it scares the bejesus out of you. It's horrible. And when he throws up, it's the same. He's so loud. I'm like, Lord, can't you control that any? Jeesh. All right. We're going to make a big bow. And I'm only going to use this inch and a half buffalo plaid. Oh, Lord. Hopefully I got enough. We might not. I don't know. I'm going to make about 10 inch tails. And I'm just going to keep looping it and looping it. Till I have a bunch of loops on this bow. So I'm going to do about a five inch loop to start off with. Five inches. You know what I'm going to do? Wait. I want my tails first. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my tails at the bottom. So they're the same. So I'm going to start like this with two tails. Just like this. Okay? And then I'm going to start my loops. Because I want both my tails to end up at the bottom. So I'm going to start like that. Now I'm going to start with my loops. Sorry, I keep changing my mind. So I'm going to twist it. And I'm going to do my five inch loop. And I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of loops. So there's five. Other side. How's everybody doing today? I'm glad today's over because this is the only day I have to go in to work. So I'm so glad it's over. So glad. I'm going to do three five inch. And then I'm going to go down to four inch and keep doing that. So three on each side of five inch. I don't know how this bow is going to look. We're just winging it. We're just winging it. So there's three five inch. And I'm going to separate them right now because you guys know I like to do that. So I know where they're supposed to be. Because if not, it confuses me. So I'm going to separate them now as I go. So there's three on each side. See that? So now I'm going to keep going and I'm going to go down to four inch. And I'm going to do three four inch. On each side. Oh Lord, maybe not. We might make it. We might. So there's three four inch. I'm going to spread them out. No, 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 no. Scratch that. I need another three. I'm going to do two on each side of this one. Sorry. So on the bottom, I did five inch, three on each side. I took it down an inch, and on the second layer, I did two on each side, four inch. Okay? Now I'm going to take it down to three inch and do three again. So three inch loops, three on each side. Did I confuse you guys yet? I have no comments rolling, guys. None. I'm sorry I'm not talking, but I don't know what you guys are saying. And it's driving me nuts. Sorry. I don't know what you're saying. You guys know I answer questions, but... You love it when I wing it? I see that one. Okay, so that's three, three inch right there. I'm going to spread them out as I go, because that's the way I roll. And I'm going to do two, two inch... Hi, BJ. I'm going to do two two inch on each side. And then I'm going to do a, a loop in the middle. That's the plan. So two inch. Hi, Nene. So two two inch on each side. And then I'm going to do a, a center loop, and that's it. So that's the two two inch. Now I'm going to do a center loop. Hmm. There we go. 
and I'm going to cut it off. Let's see how this bow looks. I don't know how it's going to look, but we will see. Let me get me a pipe cleaner. Guys, only a few comments coming through. I apologize. I don't know what's going on with Facebook today. They're being wonky. All right, let's see what this bow looks like. Now, if you ask me the, for that formula again, I couldn't tell you because I just winged it. All right, let's wrap it up. Guys, I'm so sad I can't see anybody's comments. I hate that. Okay, let me, let me fluff her out. And then I'll show you the bow and then we'll put it on. See what it's going to look like. center loop. Boy, Amber, you better hope you have comments because it sucks when you don't. Because I don't know who's talking to me and I feel like I'm being rude, but I can't answer you because I don't see nothing. It's horrible. Horrible. I see the hearts, though. I don't know how much I'm liking this bow, but it's gonna have to work. Okay, Gregory, you'd like the door size board. Okay, I'll look at my email when I get off here. I will look when I get off here. Because I've been at work all day, guys, so I haven't looked haven't been able to check my email or anything. Alright. I think I got my bow. I see that Alicia. I'm not seeing nothing else, barely. I don't get it. Okay, so here's my bow. It's kind of cute. It turned out cute. Okay, so let's get our board back over here. And we're going to maybe glue it on. I'm not sure yet. I haven't got that far yet. Let me grab my board. So here's what we got so far. Isn't that cute? Just to hang on your wall. I think it's adorable. Way farmhousey, and I love it. So... Let me put my bow on. I'm going to cut. I'm going to staple my bow on, I think. Thank you, Cheryl. So I'm going to cut these little Chanel stems off. And I think I'm going to staple it on. Let me turn it to you. Turn you down a little. Ghost, does that work? I see that, Amber. Okay. So I'm going to set it right in the middle of this ribbon right here. Just like that. And I'm going to staple my bow down, I think. I could glue it, but I think I'm going to staple it. Because that way, I know it's not going to go anywhere. So let me get it in the middle. and I'm going to staple one side first. Thank you, Debbie. Let me staple the other side. I'm going to staple it in a couple spots. Well, I don't know if I really need to staple it in a couple spots. Thank you, Betsy. I might twirl them. That bow's pretty much on there. I don't think I'm gonna staple it anymore. So now let me work with my bow and then I'll show you. I don't know if I wanna curl them, if I want the tails not so long. I think I'm gonna curl them. I'm gonna curl them. Let me get me a long paintbrush. So I like curl mine with just the paintbrush. So what I do is I just wrapped it around. The... This one's really easy, Kathy. I see that one, Angie. This one's really easy DIY. Really easy one. Ooh, I don't like them curled either. What am I going to do with these tails? I don't like them curled. Let me just hold it up and see. Let me hold it up and look at it. Oof. I love it, but I don't like the tails. So let me think. Let me see what I want to do. I guess I could roll them up this way. I don't like the tails, guys. I could cut them off all the way, but I'm not going to. So let me roll them up and see what I can do with them.
You're going to make one for your living room. It's adorable. Ooh, I like that better. So let me show you how I'm rolling them. That looks adorable. So let me turn you a little. So I'm taking my ribbon like this straight. And I'm just taking it and I'm rolling it up on each other. Just like this. Roll it, roll it, roll it. All the way up. And then when you're done rolling it, you take the inside piece. If I can find it. Lord. And you just pull it down like that. That's cute. Okay. So let me look at it and then I'll show it to you. Hold on. Hold please. It's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. Okay, you ready to see it? This is adorable. You can't really see. Maybe we'll go in and hang it on the wall, guys. So you can see it with the background. Because you can't see it really good right now. That's what we're going to do. So I'm going to take you out. We're going to go for a little adventure. Hold on. That's how you curl yours. I don't usually curl mine, but I like it that way. I'm doing this one-handed. Hold on. That ain't going to work. Let's just take it and put it on the wall so you can see what it looks like. Because if you don't have a background, you see right through it and it doesn't look very good. So let's put it on the wall. I think it turned out adorable. Turn the door shut. I don't have any hands left. Hold on. Okay. Kurt's probably got the TV blaring. All right, here we go. Hold on. I'm on live. Hold on, I got to set you right there. You're going to see the jungle for a second. With a custom 800 trophies made out of over 70 pounds of solid stainless steel and bronze, commemorating his 800 career goal. What? Here to this. Okay, guys, you ready? Sorry, I had to put you in the jungle. It's cute. You ready to see it? Let me straighten it up a little. Oh, it's adorable. But I'm in a little... <laughs> Anna said she heard you in West Texas. Sneeze. All the way out there. Okay, you ready? Cayenne Pepper got me. Cayenne Pepper got him, he said. And I'm in a skinny hallway, so it's going to be hard to show you. Darn, I don't know how I'm going to show you. Ooh, wait. Can you see that? Isn't that adorable? I think it's cute. Now, you could even put chicken wire behind that. That would be cute as well. Wait, I'm trying to get you a good angle. Darn, this is hard. I'm in this little bitty hallway, guys. Hold on, let me go this way. Oh, that's better. Whoa, whoa. Isn't that cute? It would look cute with little flowers in it, but it's adorable. Just four cheap picture frames painted and crackled and hang the wreath down the middle with this ribbon right here. See that ribbon right there? Wrapped it around the wreath, the wreath wrapped it around the back, stapled it on, and then put the bow. I think it's adorable. Lace would be pretty too, yeah. So I think that's really, whoops, really cute. Really cute. So that's my quick little craft for today. Simple, yeah, simple and pretty. I went for simple today. And I think I'm going to leave it hang right there. So I think it's cute there. So that's all I got for you. Tomorrow night we're going to paint something. I don't know what. And then the next night, we might do that unique in the creek board that I was trying to do. Really easy, guys. So let me show you how I did it. Let me tell you what I used one more time in case you came on late. So let me put you back up in here. So here's what I... Ooh, hold on. Sorry. Here's what I did. So this was a canvas. I bought a four-pack at Michael's. Let me turn these off. I bought a four-pack of these canvases at Michael's. And let me measure it so I can tell you what size it is. Hold on. You can do it any size you want. I wanted mine kind of bigger. So let me measure the, the frames and see what size I bought. It's a 9 by nine by 12. So I bought a four pack of 9 by 12 canvases. I pulled the canvas off of this. And this is what you get when you pull the canvas off. You could probably get just the frames at Dollar Tree. I don't know. I didn't look. Then I put four of them together on the table. 
I wood glued them down the middle and clamped them and left them overnight so they'd all four stick together. Today, I painted a light coat of white or whatever color you want to poke through the crackle. So I painted a light coat of white all over it, let it dry, and then tonight I put Elmer's glue on the, on the corners of each frame and then I painted over it black while the El Elmer's glue was wet. And that's how you get the crackle to come through. And then I just put the ribbon on the wreath and stapled it on the back and that's what we got. Easy craft and super cute. And you could put, I have, somewhere I have some chicken wire. I could have put chicken wire all over the back of it. That would have probably been cute too, but I didn't. But that would probably be cute too. So, that's it. That's all I got for you tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow night. We'll paint tomorrow night. I don't know what we're going to paint yet. And I don't know what time I'm going to be on. But, I will see you guys tomorrow night. So, in about a half hour... Amber will be on at 7 o'clock. So go watch Crazy Crafted Mama at 7 and then Design with Scott at 8. And I appreciate you guys. I will see you. How did you hook them together? I put all four of them, butted them all four together, and then I uh, wood glued. I wood glued them together and then clamped them overnight so they would dry. So wood glue and clamps is what I did to keep them all four together. And they're, they're together really good. But I clamped them so it would be really tight. So when they dried, it would be really tight. So that's what I did. And it was really easy, guys. And you guys know I like easy. So I will see you guys tomorrow night at some point. I appreciate all of you guys hanging out with me every night. And don't forget to go watch Crazy Craft Mama at 7. It's Tumblr Tuesday. Bye, guys.